All right, we got a question from Ron who asks, can planner limit the visibility of tasks to only those who are assigned? And we've heard versions of this question before about limiting visibility. In other words, if I have 20 tasks in my plan and five resources, so resource number one, Mark, is assigned to seven of those 20 tasks in my plan. Is there a way that Mark can only see those tasks that he is assigned to and not see those other tasks which he is not assigned to perhaps a setting the answer well, would be no no, <laughs> no. unfortunately well my first thought is too is that you know if it's in planner and i'm consuming through like my, my view if i'm going in with my tasks i'll only see my tasks those that i'm assigned to so my view my default view for planner and to do with the to do sync are only to see those things which are mine now Let's right. let's explain why the answer is no for a second. And it's because yes. planner is built on the M365 groups framework. So the same thing that powers teams and uh, outlook groups and a bunch of other stuff. And you're either an owner, a member, or a guest. And members and guests can see pretty much everything with a few special exceptions that people will call me out in the comments for. Um, <laughs> so really no, but as Christian said, if you if you're in the tasks app in Teams or the, the various places it show up shows up, you just see the tasks that are assigned to you. So you could use multiple different plans if you want to limit the visibility. That may not achieve your your end goal, but yeah, I think what they're talking about most is permissions. So being able to lock them down so other people can't edit or see things that aren't assigned to them, unfortunately, is not a function of planner. As we were kind of talking about that. Need yeah. to use a different tool if that's a business um, requirement. But mm -hmm. if if you're just trying to for ease of consumption, you have the filter option, but you also have the my tasks option that lets you group them by the status or by the um, by the due date or by the plan. So using that group by option, I think is helpful too. Well, I'll just say well, I think you're reading a lot into that. I, I don't see the word permissions anywhere, Sherry. So you're going out on a limb there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, is there a way that Mark can only see those tasks that are assigned to and not see the other ones? That to me is yeah. but yeah. Well, it's ultimately planner is about team. It's about all of you. It's about um, transparency and visibility so that you can actually get your work done. It's about actions and working out loud. So to filter it, you filter it, yes, by an individual so they can they can filter it themselves or you can filter it in a meeting. But it's actually a, it's actually about team tasks. So if you're talking about individual tasks, you need a different tool set for that. That's when you go to to do, and maybe you've got a shared one on one, you know, uh, you know, with your manager on to do on their their own tasks. So you know what's in the me space and what's in the we space, and are you choosing the right one as a tool for that? So understanding where it should sit is a different matter. Well, and we also. Oh, go ahead, Max. Oh, sorry. Uh, but just one other thought, and Christy, I love the way you put that. Uh, if if we're talking about a business process here, um, where where there are regular tasks and things that are happening on a regular occurrence, I would also say planner is not the right tool. And and there are tools in the Microsoft space. I know this is M365, but even Dynamics could be the right right choice for that. Uh, Power Platform, things like that. Well, and I was going to go that direction as well. Say that, that look, there are if you're if you are getting into where you are, you have such a complex. I know this is a simple example, but you have a complex project, and you want to limit the visibility um, uh, of this. There, there are other project management tools that allow that, not Microsoft tools, because Microsofts are fairly simple. They're stripped down. There's, I mean, even Project Online. Um, it still has that open model where it's a team effort. It's if you're in the project, you should have visibility in to see, you know, correlated uh, other actions and other tasks of other team members. You, you should be able to see the work breakdown structure and and uh, other, you know, impacts of your completing early or not completing a task, how it impacts the overall plan. Um, planner is even more simple. It's just a... Uh, it, it's a it's a list 
that you know has some other naming conventions and, and icons to it, but it's fairly simple. It's meant to be open and lightweight. So if it is a visibility, because we've had this, a version of this question asked about lists. Like I want people to be able to go in and, and but only be able to see the list items that they go and create. So you could filter the view there, but if somebody who knows a little bit of what they're doing, they could still go in and see the entire list and all of the list items, whether or not they created them or the owners of the, each of those items. So it's still fairly open. So if your goal is just to restrict the view, then I'd say that, look, end users get that through the to-do integration and through the tasks. Uh, uh, view the my tasks within planner or within uh, teams. Personal plan of course, any team. Of course. Here we are having a discussion about it without having actually started. <laughs> <laughs> I was we thinking, did, this, did he read the yesterday. question? Yeah, no, we, we do this at the beginnings of each okay. one. All right, let's okay. all read through.